Alright y'all, right, so here I am. Um, you know me as a cameraman, it's hard to hold on to a camera and then uh, mix paint and all that by yourself. So if I get picture isn't off a little bit, I apologize, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing a number of things, okay? Um, I've got just a tad of, um, this is Radiant White. I've got a little bit of oh, that stuff. Rembrandt, but it's uh, China Credon Rose. I don't know. Quindon Riddon? Yeah. It sounds like a pill. Don't take it. But I got a little bit. Um, some red in there. And then we did a bit of... We got here. Cobalt Violet. Okay. So I'm mixing that up. I'm kind of running out of space. My palette's getting full. Um, but I'm making the, mixing this up here. I have a hard time finding the purple that I want. So I'm mixing this up. And I've been using palette knives uh, recently. Um, an oil paint. So what I did is I painted uh, a number of uh, um, corn. Uh, pieces of corn. If you guys have uh, been following me at all. You know that I've been obsessed with corn over the last few years. And I've uh, been kind of doing that thing. But that's starting to uh, hit its tail end here. And... Uh, Basically, I'm finishing these things up. So I got uh, four individual paintings. Uh, one's down here drying. You can kind of see it. Um, and I've been working on these others here. And this is palette knife. So uh, we're going to go back in with the uh, the darker color where, where that is. See the negative space right now uh, will be the positive space. And I'll do a mixture of um, darker browns and uh, a little bit of um, green, maybe a little bit of black, um, maybe some red. And kind of mix that up um, and then start layering that in again with the palette knife to be the corn. So the corn, corn will be dark in the shadows. Okay. But uh, I'm about to finish the last one here. So we've got this guy here, those two on the wall, and that one underneath down there. Okay, and that is the bottom piece of this one here, right? So we got three pictures, four canvases, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this purple I've been mixing right in between the red and the blue here. See, it wasn't mixing the way I wanted it. I didn't like the colors. So we got to make up, mix up something new here. Okay. So um, this um, has actually been drying, drying much quicker than I thought. I used some linseed oil, and then I've been using uh, the Neo Mega Glip. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how to say these things or really what they do. I'm kind of learning as I go. Um, I have not uh, done this stuff since uh, somewhere in high school and even at that um, I was using acrylic paints so this is kind of a new thing for me I'm just kind of learning as I go here um, one of the things that, that I've learned about uh, painting over the years is you, you can't you can't uh, be afraid to make a mistake you can't back away by something or, or be uh, deterred because uh, something seems difficult or not something that you are comfortable doing um, just put your best effort in and take care of it you know do the best that you can like I said you know I haven't actually done this since high school so, uh, oops, sorry, I'm kind of getting off on my, my filming duties. It seems like when I focus on the camera, then I start really sucking at um, that painting. <laughs> but when I'm focusing on the painting, I become really bad at the camera. So 
I guess the trick is, and I haven't really figured it out, but maybe the trick is using your peripheral vision to see the screen as your painting so you can kind of see both at the same time and you know that you're in frame. Maybe that's it. Not yet, right? Need a little more of that. Yeah. So we'll get up in here. Whoops. Sorry, camera skills. All right. Now I've toyed around with the schemes and the colors in here quite a bit. All right, so I brought down or brought up the purple. I may bring it down just a little bit down in here into the red a little bit further. Bring it down and then bring it back up. Oh, so I'm missing it again. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. All right. Uh, I found that a nice little burlap sack works pretty good. Just wiping it off. Just a great way to really quickly get it cleaned off and you get it on the towel. That's great. I do not, so I will just roll with a dirty, dirty one again. But now what I want to do is I want to get up into the blues. So I got the blue at the very top up there. I want to bring the blue down a little bit. Okay, so I've been mixing up this. Uh, it's a darker blue. This is. Uh, oh, this is cobalt blue. Okay, that's your standard blue. So I've got this stuff in here, and I want to kind of start bringing it down. Oh, gosh. I was, like, probably looking at a tire or something, huh? Good job, Will. Okay. Can you believe I do this for a living? I still make those mistakes? Can you believe that? Uh, let's bring that blue. It's a little far, but it's okay. We can take the purple back up. This is kind of a blending thing here. Um, I'm really not great with these. I'm, I'm able to apply it pretty quickly now. The technique's still kind of hazy. Um, well, I don't know, hazy. I guess I don't really know any techniques. I'm just kind of working. Who am I trying to fool here? All right. So let's bow back a little bit. That looks a better. A little more blue on the right. So let's bring down the blue on the left. A little better. That got kind of dark there. Okay, this is still looking a little dark for me here. So I'll probably trim that up a little bit. On that spot right there too. Hmm. Wasn't doing what I wanted it to do there. That's all right. All right. I think we're kind of in the blue zone here, so let's. Blend that. Oh. I wonder if the blue zone is kind of like a friend zone. You think? It's kind of weird, right? Where are you at? I'm in the blue zone. Okay. So this isn't exactly what I want, but again, a lot of this will be repainted uh, when I put in the green, which would be later on. Oops, I'm still messing that up. And there is a lot of red here. So let's. Take out some of that red. That's a little better. Yeah, I'll probably bring out a little bit. Oops, that's the bike. Oh, you guys don't need to see the bike. It's a good bike. I've had it a long time. I like Trek. If Trek wants to endorse me, that'd be great. Maybe I can paint and ride a bike at the same time. Like maybe that's a thing. Probably not. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. I'll kind of go back over these things since I'm not, I don't have to hold on to a dang phone the whole time, but we'll kind of finish that up.
Uh, we'll do some more stuff down in here, more details, um, and then we'll go back in here with the kind of the dark green kind of in and out. Well, and then I'll do those to those three pieces. And then the one down there, like I said, will be Okay, that was my Star Wars, I'm sorry. Okay, so that that bottom piece there will attach to the bottom of this. The one long one in the center. Yep. Alright guys, um, just remember, if, if there's something that you have in your head, some kind of idea or some kind of thought or whatever your vision is, you know, just sit down and figure out how to make it. Right? Like, if I need this, therefore I need to do this before that, right? You kind of work your wolf, you, we, excuse me, work your way backwards and figure out how to get where you want to go. Okay? And it's going to be the same thing with a painting, with life, anything. You know, you figure out your goal and you work to get it. You know? Uh, th this to me is uh, kind of a fun little thing that I'm trying here. Uh, it's not meant to be anything other than that. But the thing is, guys, remember, is this, this is something that I haven't done since high school. And um, I had the idea of making this four-piece oil painting, whatever, um, palette knife piece. And I've never done anything with palette knife on that size or haven't used used one for over 25 years so again that's something that i didn't want to be afraid of or something that i couldn't do i wanted to be something that i could do and i accepted the challenge to do it but i didn't want to be afraid of it and you can't be afraid of your artwork. You can't be afraid of it being too hard. If you get to the point, though, if you are are afraid to touch it, like if I do anything else to this thing, I'm going to mess it up. That's a good time to stop. And wow, did you guys see that? Wow. Whoa. That was like in my eye. Like, I think its wings, like, fluttered my eye. Like, nah, 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 nah. Whoa! Mmm. Oh. Alright. God, that thing's still flying around. I'm gonna get my fly swatter. I'm gonna kill that thing. <laughs> See you guys.